Hey everybody, welcome back to Python Blog, the Auto Tech Tube, where we help quality people to pick up quality product. My name is Amit and I'm welcoming you all once again to be a part of this magnificent and of course a quite an alarming video uh, in context to the brand new buyers of XUV300. Now, lately I've been getting a lot of uh, you know messages on Instagram, uh, YouTube page and of course uh, whosoever got influenced by our videos and they ended up buying XUV300 and of course all my beloved subscribers. Uh, I've been getting three or four things consistently on my page and today I thought of uh, making a video because it's a genuine issue with my Hinda XUV300. Now recently uh, one of my newly uh, added subscribers, uh, uh, his name is Harshit and I've had people like Rahul from New Delhi, uh, Shubhank and Priyansh from various other states of India those who bought uh, XUV300 complaining about four or five important aspects. Number one aspect is the clutch and the gear synchronization. Now, a lot of people have opened up and talked about that uh, the XUV300 clutch and gear you know, doesn't really sync well and because of which people feel a little jerk when they drive the vehicle. Now, to answer this question, I've got two options for all of you and I think I've already consulted to Mahindra engineers as well. And this is not my own option. So the first thing first, which all must have noticed whosoever has uh, XUV300 is the, the clutch distance, the travel distance of the clutch is quite far and long. So if you do not have the right height or if you have not adjusted the seat in position of a chair, and you do not happen to have a you know a decent height of at least five eleven or six feet, you may end up getting a lot of trouble with the with the clutch because clutch is little far away. It has a long travel distance. So if the clutch is not getting uh, you know let's say pressed properly, and prior to that you have already shifted the gear, that's one of the reasons why we have the jerky feeling uh, in the S. UV of uh, XUV 300 so that's one of the most important reasons so for that what you have to do I would highly recommend to all of you whosoever is a new buyer of uh, XUV or any SUV for your concern is when you come from let's say sedan to SUV or let's say from a hatchback to an SUV there are adjustments to be done number one you have to get used to the seating position because the seating position in SUVs are quite you know quite taller compared to hatchbacks number one number two uh, these days the engines are pretty refined so you know the clutch more often than not especially with petrol cars turbocharged petrol cars in SUV are more of a lighter base but then the travel can be a, a big concern and same goes with the uh, XUV 300 gear as well along with the clutch so gear is a little taller so if you're not used to have the proper thing with the clutch and the gear, you may end up getting a jerk. That's number one. That's not a defect. It's probably uh, you being not yet getting used to your car and probably you have not driven enough. With due respect to your exercise on driving, with due respect to your experience in driving in hilly areas, I totally get that. But then every other individual, whenever you change a car, you need some time to get adjusted. That's number one. Uh, point two which I've jotted down is, uh, let me just a moment, the mileage concerns. So a lot of people say that when you buy, uh, you know, uh, the brand new uh, SUVs, uh, especially I'm talking about XUV300 and of course I'm also talking about Creta and whatnot. First 2000 kilometers, you're supposed to give your engine a speed from 50 to 80 or 50 to 100 on an average, you know, whenever you're cruising. And always try your best to maintain the same speed at least minimum for 1000 kilometer and maximum for 2000 kilometer. The reason is when you do that, you allow your engine to breathe and settle down. Every other turbocharged engine or any engine come what may needs some time to settle down with the clutch, with the gear and with the driving pattern. So the more you comfort you give to your engine the more time you give to your engine 
the better your engine gonna be in terms of mileage. If you start cruising from day one, and if you're taking your RPM 2000 and above, trust me, you would end up getting bad mileage. That is an industry expert opinion, not mine. So that's also number two reason why people, those who have bought newly SUV, why they are not getting a good mileage. You will get it because XUV is already fuels for good mileage and you can expect post thousand kilometers for sure you're gonna get. If not, complain to Mahindra's because XUV has a proven track record. Number two. Number three, uh, the ORVM uh, 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 challenge with, uh, you know, uh, you know, higher options, W8 and above. Now, there's a motor fit inside, the motion motor which you have in the ORVM. And that can vary speed from time to time. But technically, if I go with my experience, I think most of the uh, so-called the ORVM has a similar pattern of rotation. And if one is slow and other one is faster, that means there's a challenge. Do consult your Mahindra uh, XUV team to fix this because if you bought a car of almost 13 to 14 lakh rupees and if you get up all this nonsense, you can have all the right to sue Mahindra because we're paying premium for a premium car. Why do we have issues? And just to tell you in, in nutshell, when I bought XUV 300 in early 2019, you know, there were a couple of glitches I also faced. First of all, Mahindra uh, did uh, do uh, some sort of a change uh, uh, in the engine because they felt that there were certain things which were not going great. I'm talking about the first generation of XUV 300, not the, the other ones, the BS6 compliant. So yes, there have been changes in between. So it's quite possible to have a faulty device as well. So do consult your team in case if you have a same concern. Number four. Uh, the back door, uh, so called uh, the luggage carrier uh, box in, in a natural dicky of your car. If it's not a proper fitment, you have all the rights. Go ahead, ask your engineers to fix it without giving them a single penny. Because these things are very important for a car of this, you know, heavy size and heavy built up. And that would avoid a lot of uh, you know, damages in the longer run if you happen to have, let's say, highway journeys or journey with your friends and family members. So that's a fault according to me. If it's not fitting it up, if it's a little, you know, kind of giving you a rattling noise, which has never been the case with me in my experience, but then a lot of people have complained me. I think you should check with the Mahindra sales people, whosoever has sold you the car, Take it to the showroom, make it a proper run and give them all the faulty effort so that you come out crystal clear with your car. Well, that's it. I hope this was useful for one and all. In case it was, then thumbs up, comment, follow us on podcast, subscribe. And of course, do let us know in case if you have any questions. Till next time, you take care.